Workout resumed. So good morning everybody, Carlos here, just bringing you on his five kilometer walk today before work, my walk before work. Today I'm walking through a bit of an industrial area near where I work. There's going to be some machinery noise. I will just let you uh, get into the mood. Time nine minutes. Distance nine hundred twenty-six point fifty meters. Average heart rate seventy. Workout average pace nine minutes. Sorry about the uh, extractor fan. There's some sort of machinery workshop there. about to cross Esquimalt Road. I'm walking at about 10 minute kilometers. My breath will be a little labored but not too bad. Today is my last day of work before Christmas. I've asked the boss if he's going to need me after Christmas and he wants me to come in on Wednesday just so that Rob can have his Christmas break. He's probably going to go and see his family in Chilliwack. As I wait to cross the road, I think it's probably uh, yeah, proximity. Yeah, it's a butt like, thing. It's something in the side of it. You reckon? It's just it's supposed to be this thing here, but. Oh, maybe. Ah, uh, there we go. You've been detected. Got a dance a little bit for it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You certainly don't get priority over the cars. You've been detected. But you still have to wait. Off hour is Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that yeah, between the cycling one and the pedestrian one it would be a lot faster? Well I was looking for a button to push. Oh there is a button. I could have pushed the pedestrian button. Yeah. And well, they have to stick out the most most people didn't wait. Yeah, they no, just yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, lights. Ooh. Here we go. You too. Both of you. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. It's a bit foggy today. These people are riding either to the daycare to drop off their kids like that guy, or they're riding to work. Today I was the 18th cyclist coming into town, and I've already seen seven cyclists on this path. It is a very popular way of getting into work. Parking is notoriously bad in Victoria. People don't really want to use the pay parking. But what can you do? I'm pretty sure that you're keeping up with the stats here. Hi. I'm not being able to listen to them because my earbuds are in my pocket 
which enables me to use my Spreaker app. So when I'm not talking, at least you'll be listening to something, I think. I'm not quite sure. Maybe when it gets quieter, I'll be able to hear Samantha's updates. I hope so. It's going to be interesting for me listening back to this podcast. Distance 1.23 yeah. kilometers. I can hear some Average heart rate 66. Quietly. Workout average pace 9 minutes 44 seconds per kilometer. Not quite loud enough to hear properly, which is about the right setting if I remember rightly. Yeah, the critical slider is the uh, volume of the music. I, I have it at about one third of the volume. I remember once when I was working in daycare, well, adult kind of daycare, when I was being a community health worker, that one of my clients was a, a heavy smoker, a real destitute, low life kind of character. He, uh, Time for minutes. Distance 1.33 he was very kilometers. smart. Average heart rate 65. Workout average pace 9 minutes 44 seconds per kilometer. 9 minutes 44, I heard that. He was very smart. He used to say to me things like, uh, you don't like being here, do you? And I, said, I would sort of say, well, it's my job. I have to be here. I've been asked to come and help you with your meds and your ADLs, your activities of daily living. And uh, he really made a point of making my job as unpleasant as possible. He manipulated, that's what he was, he was a manipulator. And uh, he lived just on Russell Street. Time 14 minutes. Distance 1.42 kilometers. Average heart rate 64. Workout average pace 9 minutes 46 seconds per kilometer. And uh, as I say, he was a heavy smoker. And uh, he used to bribe me. He would say to me things like, uh, if you give me five bucks, you can go right now and I'll just claim that you did your full shift. That kind of guy roping me in to his criminal activities. Another one of his ploys was to uh, ask me to go out and look for cigarette butts for him. Disgusting habit. He would uh, claim to be absolutely desperate for a cigarette and he couldn't afford tobacco or he would try Time and 15 minutes. borrow Distance 1.53 money off me average heart rate 65. so he could buy Workout a cigarette. Nine minutes, 46 seconds per kilometer. He would say, give me five bucks and I can buy some cigarettes, that kind of thing. Anyway, I refused to give him money. Morning. So I would uh, go out and look for cigarette butts for him. And then he would open them up and re-roll them. He's probably dead by now. It wouldn't surprise me. So, I'm now on the boardwalk, the West Bay walkway, I think it's called. It was high tide today. Hello. Good morning. You can hear the Time 16 minutes. waves lapping average heart rate 64. against the Workout shore. Average pace 9 minutes 48 seconds per kilometer. I was going to make a video podcast tomorrow. And I thought, well, it is such a... Hi there. Morning. It is such a pleasant walk that I might as well do it today before work and then to my chagrin 
It was foggy. It is foggy. So, not much of an opportunity. Hi there. For the uh, video podcast. So today it's back to the old Spreaker app hanging in a sack around my neck working directly from my phone. Time 17 minutes. Distance 1.73 kilometers. Average heart rate 64. Workout average pace 9 minutes 48 seconds per kilometer. Okay. So you heard that. <clears throat> Excuse me. That wasn't my courage. I'm a little congested today. I think it's probably from being at work. I don't normally mingle with too many people when I'm not working. I meet in a room with other people, maybe two or three people a week at the most. Now I'm working four hours a day, twice a week, with seven other people. Not exactly in close proximity, but close enough. Breathing the same air. Seasonal flu, I think is probably what it is. I have received my combined seasonal flu jab and my refined COVID jab. I think this is my sixth COVID shot. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now, instead of crows, you hear seagulls and somebody jogging behind me. Hi. Time 19 minutes. Distance 1.93 kilometers. Average heart rate 78. Workout average pace 9 minutes 48 seconds per kilometer. I'm glad you've got something to listen to other than me and my silent mode. Got to remember to take a few photographs. Excuse me while I reach for my phone. Auto paused. Okay. Hi there. Good morning. Well, it still seems to be recording. Everything is working, functioning correctly. Let me risk another photograph. I have to have some video footage today for my show, so this is a little test. Time 20 minutes. Distance 2.02 kilometers. Average heart rate 70. Workout average pace 9 minutes 55 seconds per kilometer. All right, so that was a little test. And I'm still recording, good. Away goes the phone. One more time. A couple of little more hens just popped their heads above the water. They must have been submerged. Well, I started to look across the foggy waters and up it popped. getting to a little 
boardwalk area, this path really does hug the shore, as you've probably gathered from hearing the waves lapping. I should be getting my halfway to my goal pretty soon. Hi there. That heron is always there. I saw him there last Sunday. He doesn't seem too intimidated by humans. Interesting. Shame it's so foggy. The eagles are the only thing he has around you that's... That bother him? The only, yeah, the only thing about him. Yeah. Well, he's safe over there. He's safe from the dogs. He's safe from the boaters. Nobody comes in this close. Yeah. And there's some good food in here now that they put yeah. sewage treatment in and they've... Oh, they've done they, that they, already. They, yeah, and they put some berms in or something under the wall. And so the, oh. the natural... Sewage um, is the being natural treated. life is coming back. Okay, in good. Because so they used to pump it straight into the strait, didn't they? Oh, yes. About uh, one kilometre out, it used to go. I don't think it was even that far. No? But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Pretty gross, if you think about it. Oh, yeah, I mean... But they would always justify it. They would say that, that the current is so strong that it would get dragged off and nobody would be affected. But, you know, with the population of Victoria growing so much... Well, yeah, I mean, possibly, you know, you can see toilet paper on Willow's Beach, so... Yeah, it's <laughs> obviously it's, coming from somewhere. Yeah, the current's strong enough to push it onto the beach. Yeah. <laughs> anyway... It's gone now. And, uh, I'm going to uh, turn around here and head oh. back. Okay. Have a great day. I'm not sure if it is halfway to my goal, but it must be pretty close. Let me just check that I'm still recording. Yeah, I'm trying to remember how to do all of this. I used to be a, pa a, a past master of this recording with my phone and sending it straight to the internet. Yep, it's still recording. And I'm now on another tune. Still playing away. I hope you're enjoying this episode. Let me see what my stats look like. Yeah, 2.2. I turned a little early. My altitude is one meter above sea level, believe it or not. One whole meter. All right. What I'll do is I'll go a little past where I joined my boardwalk. I'll go further and then come back the extra 300 meters or so to make it equidistant. Yep. This way I'm going to get a, another opportunity to record one or two little video clips. Oh yeah, that's right. I was offered as one of these six-day promotions on Relive, a half-price yearly subscription for $26, which is pretty good. That's 50 cents a week. And uh, that would give me access to the premium uh, plan, which gives me video capabilities plus as many photographs as I want to think I think it's up to 25 photographs instead of 10 I'm not gonna have 25 photographs on this episode but 
So yeah, the beauty of using the phone for today's show is that I'm going to be able to upload it and send it to you guys as I work. And I will be able to listen to it before I even get home. Another photo opportunity here. A video opportunity. Kind of is midway between a video podcast and an audio podcast. Back to the beach with the noise. Yep, the only annoying thing today is the sound of me reaching for my phone every 10 seconds. Last time I did this, I ran it. And uh, I think I was running it around 8 minute kilometers. Hi. Today I'm walking it around 10 minutes kilometers so I'm not gonna be able to do the full distance that I did last time but uh, I parked my e-bike at work so that when they come in they will see that I have already arrived and I'm doing my thing something that they're quite used to now me doing my thing which is working and recording and running. They're all in on my activities. It's weird being so close to the water. I mean, where I live in Gordon Head, I'm 40 meters above sea level. Here I am one meter above sea level. Yeah, getting back to what that guy was saying about the sewage. They used to pump it straight out into the middle of the strait. And they claim that the current, the one de Fuca Strait, has a very strong current coming out of the Puget Sound out to the sea. Up I go. The only time the phone will bounce on my belly is when I'm climbing because it kind of hangs a little bit away from my body so you'll hear a thump 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 this is very close to where I came in it changes now from the West Bay walkway to the Songhees walkway As I put the phone away again. I will be listening out for the three kilometer mark. This is where I joined the walkway. So this time I'm gonna go a little past the squawking seagulls more towards the inner harbour 
This is now the Songhees walkway. Morning. I think I'll probably get to Spinnaker's today. Spinnaker's pub is a really old wooden building. It's been a pub for about 120 years, something like that. Yeah, that would be a good turnaround spot for me. Spinnaker's. And I'll take a photograph at the end. woman with a dog with a illuminated collar. Hi there. Yeah, I'm going to see her again on the way back. More than likely. Unless she turns off. But there's not really too much option to turn off here. There's another photo of This is still here. It's changed colour a little bit. I think they probably just uh, touch up the paintwork a little bit. Hello, doggy. There used to be a ship, though, that got Oh, like a little pirate ship? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a good day. There you go, you get a bark. You get a bark at everything today. The dog put his paws on my sweater, but that's okay. The walk is very clean. It's a cement path with pebble dash, as it's called, a pebble dash cement path. I'll go back a different way. When I finish my recording, I will head back on Esquimalt Road. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get my distance today. As I approach Spinnaker's pub. So this is the running jackal saying bye bye to you all from the Songhees waterfront. Bye bye. <laughs>